everywhere around us. Whether it's social media, internet, television, newspaper, magazine, even WhatsApp nowadays, text, SMS, we are bombarded by advertising <coughs> everywhere. And advertising is expensive, it costs money to advertise. Conduct research, design the ad, whether it's a television ad, a newspaper ad, a magazine ad, even a social media ad needs some graphic design and production to actually produce the video, the images, post-production, maybe if the video ad you need some post-production. And then eventually you have to buy the placement where you want to place the ad, whether it's SMS marketing, whether it's social media, whether it's TV, you have to buy that slot. But bad advertising or poor advertising costs more than just money. We saw that all kinds of advertising require money and will cost you some cash, some money to advertise anywhere. But specifically bad advertising costs more than money. Why? Let me explain with some examples. Bad copy. Here's an example of bad copy. Can anyone guess what's so bad about this? Kids say? Use kids say. So clearly, this non-profit organization, they did not do an audit of their ad before going live. So it looks like kids are being sold, and particularly used kids are being sold. Another instance of bad copy, great message. Can you guess what the message over here is? Quit smoking. Quit smoking. Wait, it over there. Great action. Quit school. So you can see how bad copy, by arranging just a few words here and there, can create a disaster. And it's actually the behind the back of a bus. So it could be a school bus even, or college bus. And over there, you are trying to advertise that you should quit school. Take action, take control, quit school. Here is another example, using lazy design style. So we're not talking about copy, but the design. So what's wrong with this design? It's going down. It's going down. <laughs> Actually, it's lazy because on the other side, if you place this ad on the other side, you can go upwards. So they should have actually made two designs for the right side of the escalator and for the left side of the escalator. But because they did not go through the details, they just printed same thing twice. And that's why this error happened. And clearly, nobody's going to fly in Turkish airline with that ad in mind. So, what's wrong with this ad? Actually, it's written on the slide as well. You will get WhatsApp. It's a lazy ad. You notice over here, the phone is upside down. And that campaign actually ran for a while, I remember. But they pulled it off, obviously, after the first go. So, why would anyone hold their phone upside down? You spend so much. Designing the ad, color scheme, get hiring model, whatever, and you think about so many things, but you forget the basics. That's called lazy editing. Moving on, here is a few bad placements. So, why is this placement bad? The horror thing and the no. Advertising the junk food. Exactly. So there are two advertisers, conflicting advertisers. So one is, of course, a non-profit organization where the aim is to prevent heart attacks, and the other one is promoting fast food. Same thing over here. Here you are talking about diabetes, another non-profit organization promoting the diabetes awareness, and at the bottom they are promoting their favorite menu, a dollar menu, cheap. One dollar you can get all this. I guess one of those. So that's about bad placement. Bad placement in magazines, well, I think it's obvious over here. I don't need to say anything. But basically, you need to basically keep not only your ad in mind, but what's going to appear next to it. Whether it's billboard or magazine. Because placement matters. It can change your messaging. Somebody dying and over here changing color. Bad research. So this ad was banned by the Singapore government council which was built on discouraging gambling. Gambling is an addiction. And they are talking about the two kids and one kid is talking how his father has bet 
all is same with Germany. Now, if you do a little bit of research, if you know football, you know that Germany is one of the best football teams in history. They won the World Cup four times, appeared in the final eight times. There are 32 teams in a football World Cup. They could have put any of the 31 teams, but why would they choose Germany? Which is always among the favorites to win any World Cup. And then, of course, we have bad messaging, clearly bad messaging over here. This is Reebok trying to be too clever, and in turn, they end up promoting cheating or the messaging that they gave away is that you should not cheat on your workout or rather you should cheat on your girlfriend similarly we see this often in Pakistan this colorism fairness, whiteness, screens, things like that so the problem over here is of course the skin is rough and over here the skin is good but the other problem is, is that this is that there's a black woman over there and there's a white woman over there so why can't it be worse? why can't be skin be bad in the fair world? and similarly why is purity? what does that exactly mean? Black is impure. That's what they're trying to, but that's what they forgot that they aren't conveying. <coughs> Again, this is gender discrimination. So this is this is actually good. I, I like that. This Mother's Day get back to the job that really matters. But the problem is that somehow it doesn't. It looks as if the job of the woman is to clean. Okay. So that's why you have to be careful. The overall messaging, what message it conveys, in order to have avoid situations like this. And I would like to end by saying that the most important thing in communication is here for listening. What isn't said when advertising? What isn't said? It's vital for us to get it right first time, every time. Right. Otherwise. You have situations like you saw, even big brands, Nivea, Reebok, Burger King, McDonald's. You can go, go all right, very quickly. Over to you.